Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of St. Joseph Montvale is brought to you by Rothman Orthopedics. Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Phillipsburg is brought to you by the Garnett Booster Club. What's going on, people? Neri Rodriguez here for Jersey Sports Zone. We're in Phillipsburg, where a last minute change has two of the state's most storied programs facing off as St. Joseph Montvale is in town to take on the state liners in week one. First quarter. Quarterback Tristan Canzano moving the chains and eating clock in the opening drive gets Phillipsburg inside the red zone. However, they wouldn't score. End of the first, Canzano taking a shot to the head. He'd be okay, but would not return. Second quarter, Luke Henrich connects with Jaden Wimberly through the air for a 34-yard touchdown to draw first blood with 9.32 left. Joe's lead 7-0. However, the Peaberg defense was still aggressive. Midway through, State Liners with a block punt get good field position on a Nola Chuli recovery as we remain at that score heading into halftime. Third quarter, Luke Henrich goes downfield for Jaden Wimberly once again, and Wimberly hauls it in for a 43 yard TD with 7 11 left. Green Knights ahead 14 0. Heberg hanging tough, still looking for its first score. Raekwon Dixon losing the helmet, pushes the pile for a first down. Some shoving going on as that puts the state liners inside the 10. A bit later, from five yards out, Xavier Moore on the handoff from Ja'Kai McLean gets in for Phillipsburg's first TD to end the quarter. Extra point no good, they trail just 14-6. Fourth quarter, Joe's on to attempt a field goal. The snap is bobbled and Phillipsburg coming up with the ball. Kevin Burgess fighting his way downfield puts the state liners in the red zone. It would be short lived. A few plays later, Xavier Moore gets the handoff and is met with a host of Green Knights. Ball is out and scooped up by Jack Smihowski. Smihowski covering the entire length of the football field for a touchdown with 5.55 to go. Green Knights lead 21-6. Later in the quarter, Yasin Willis going to cap things off with a short five-yard score. 28-6 is your final. St. Joe's rebounding from a loss to improve to 1-1. One one. The Green Knights scheduled to hit the road for Maryland this weekend picked up this game on less than a week's notice as Phillipsburg's original opponent Piscataway backed out. Even on short notice, both teams playing well. Jaden Wimberly with two receiving touchdowns in this one. We caught up with Joe's after. No better feeling. You know, first win, you know, um, coming out here dominating, you know, a little slow start, but uh, we're ready to go into next week for the ball. Um, just to execute the little things, you know, last week we didn't really do that, and I thought this week we did a little more of that, you know, no turnover, stuff like that. Um, we just got to execute more. We got 80 guys in that locker room that don't care about nothing. We don't care about any of that stuff. It's, all that matters here is football. If you tell us to play anywhere, we'll come down there and we'll play. I don't care about no field. I don't care about none of that. We just we're ballers. We just play. I think they, I think they love each other and they want to. You know, no, nobody wants to let each other down. You know, they, they're they're brothers and uh, you know nobody wants to be that guy to let the, their teammates down. And you know they formed a bond. I mean, you got to go travel to practice all over the place and uh, there is no, no home field and you got to fight through adversity. You know, every day. We just form a bond, and uh, you know it, 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 it's good to see. St. Joe's will take on DePaul Catholic next for Jersey Sports Zone. I'm Neri Rodriguez.